I'm Michael Lim. Uh, my specialty is as a cardiologist and more particularly as an interventional cardiologist, which means a cardiologist that utilizes catheters in the heart catheterization lab to try to advance treatments for them. Catheters are small tubes that we go inside of blood vessels so we don't have to make large incisions or do uh, actual open heart surgeries where we can treat uh, conditions such as coronary artery disease or blockages in the arteries. We can treat uh, patients with valvular heart disease problems uh, by catheter means and using balloons and, and other tools uh, rather than the actual surgery itself. The patient comes in with symptoms, uh, with lifestyle limitations, uh, with things that uh, aren't well for them and we can provide a lot of times instantaneous change to that. So patients very short of breath, they can't walk up a flight of stairs. We can provide therapy within the catheterization lab. The next day or the day after when they're recovering, they're already able to go up those flights of stairs and we can go in through the groin. Uh, there's an artery and a vein which are pretty good size there that we can do a lot of different procedures from and that's probably uh, the standard of care across the country. In our lab we've introduced using the radial artery or the wrist to go in to do a lot more procedures. Uh, it's a smaller artery. It's something that most of us weren't trained to do, uh, but it's something that's uh, able to get the job done in a safer and more comfortable way for patients. The treatment in the heart catheterization lab for coronary artery disease is placement of stents. Some people have holes in the heart and something called an atrial septal defect or a patent foramenal valley or ventricular septal defect. These are common things that are, uh, happen. Um, the atrial septal defect or ASD or patent foramenal valley or PFO, those are interesting diagnoses because we're born with those. And we can actually treat those conditions within the cath lab by putting a metal mesh basket across those holes, we offer very high-end treatments in a lot of conditions. And we want to make sure the patients have the right set of expectations. Our impact is not always from utilizing technology or catheters. A lot of times we can impact people just by talking with them, providing medication changes to patients which can prolong life, um, providing diagnoses for patients that are more benign than what they thought they were and reassuring them. Those don't have anything to do with putting in stents, blowing up balloons in patients' hearts, utilizing catheters, but are, to the patient, very, very, very important.